You might be wondering, if the Tesla Semi is such a game changer, why isn't Tesla mass producing it yet? Elon's been confident that they don't need huge numbers, just outstanding results in positive reviews at this point. With early adopters like PepsiCo or DHL having praised the smooth integration and driver satisfaction of this revolutionary vehicle. For example, Tesla Semi consumes 1.6 kilowatt hours per kilometer, significantly cutting fuel costs to around $25 per 100 kilometers. Compare that to 80 bucks for a diesel truck. It can be fully charged within a half hour and a production run of up to 50,000 units a year. So how did Elon revolutionize an entire industry with just one model? How ready is the Tesla Semi for 2025 release? And we're on track to start uh, pilot builds in the second half of next year with production starting the first half of 2026 and ramping really throughout the year to, to full production. According to Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, Lars Moravi, pilot production of the semi will kick off in the second half of next year, with plans to ramp up production after that. By 2026, the semi is expected to reach full production capacity. Tesla has shared that its semi-manufacturing capacity in Reno, Nevada will eventually reach 50,000 electric trucks a year. Moravi confirmed during the 2024 earnings call that the previous timeline for beginning semi-production remains on track. Because Tesla reported third quarter 2024 profits for the semi of $2.17 billion, that's up 17% year over year, with the total revenue reaching $25.1 billion. That's an 8% increase. Right now, all semis have been produced on a small scale production line in Gigafactory, Nevada. However, the company is currently building a dedicated facility nearby that'll focus exclusively on semi production. This facility is expected to be completed by the end of 2025, and only after it's finished will Tesla be able to reach the annual production target of 50,000 semis, as announced by Elon Musk. In the meantime, a significant number of semis are still getting made at the current facility. Specifically, as of early October, recent updates at Giga Nevada revealed a total of 38 brand new semis that had just got produced, and a few days later, another 50 semis were spotted outside the Nevada plant. A short time later, there was a noticeable increase in the number of semis on the site. Approximately 70 of them were neatly parked along both sides of the building. By that time, it was estimated about 250 units had been spotted, and this number is surely on the rise. If this pace continues, showing that new semis are increasing weekly and if the facility ramps up production, Tesla could potentially hit around 1,000 semis by next month. Giga Nevada is set to make its first commercial semi, known as the Semi 0.5 by the end of next year, gearing up for customer deliveries in early 2026, and we believe that the new facility is entirely feasible for hitting this number. Recently, Elon provided an update in response to a video posted by Tesla Manufacturing's official account that featured the team at Gigafactory Berlin testing the semi. In his reply on X, CEO Elon said Tesla Semi will be available worldwide, signaling positive news for the all-electric truck as it truly has the potential to make our roads safer around the globe thanks to its advanced technology and features, while also promoting a cleaner environment due to its fully electric nature. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the efforts behind the Tesla Semi's limited production. So far, the models that have entered production have undergone impressive performance testing and recognition within the transport industry. The semi's made a strong mark with its remarkable operational efficiency and energy-saving capabilities. During the North American Council for Freight Efficiencies Run on Less Electric program into September, the semi completed a remarkable journey of 384 miles on a single charge and got up to 806 miles in just 24 hours. Mike Roth, the executive director of NACFE, praised the semi, stating this is the art of feasibility. Tests like these showcase the potential of the semi not only highlighting the feasibility, but also durability and reliability. So far, many major players in the logistics industry, including DHL and Pepsi, have shown strong interest in the semi. DHL, one of the top companies in the supply chain top 100, tested the semi on a 3,000-mile transport route. After two weeks of testing during the summer, DHL confirmed that the semi is ready for prime time and expressed the desire to integrate these vehicles into their network. With orders coming in from such prominent names, the semi has solidified its reputation and potential in the market. According to Elon Musk, We have kind of ridiculous demand for the semi. Any company that doesn't adopt a, a new an electric semi will, will lose. It's not a, it's not, it's not a subjective thing. 
how will the Tesla Semi 2025 revolutionize operational efficiency? The Semi boasts impressive specs that make it a serious competitor against traditional diesel trucks. As stated on Tesla's official website, the Semi can go from 0 to 60 in just 20 seconds, and that's pretty impressive. In reality, it's even more remarkable. Tesla may have been modest because recent real-world tests from Pepsi and DHL left everyone stunned. When Elon first presented the Semi's BAMF speed, it sounded a bit ambitious, but now the Semi's proven itself, going from 0 to 60 in just 5 seconds without a load and under 20 seconds when fully loaded. And get this, it was so fast that it could outrun an Alfa Romeo, not to mention any diesel truck on the road. And here's where things get even cooler. The Semi offers two range options, allowing you to pick the one that best suits your hauling needs. There's a 300-mile version and then a 500-mile one, both designed to handle different transport demands while ensuring you don't have to stop to charge every couple hours. And let me tell you, these trucks charge fast. In 30 minutes, Tesla's charging stations can charge the semi up to 70%, giving it power to keep rolling with virtually no downtime. That's perfect for these long hauls when every minute counts. But all of that still isn't the most important part. Let's get to what really matters here, the money. The semi might have a big, hefty upfront price tag, but believe us, it's going to save you money in the long run. At first glance, you see prices set at 150 grand for the 300 mile range and 180 grand for the 500 mile range model. Now that's a bit higher than your standard diesel truck, but hang tight. The savings will quickly make up for it. And here's where things are really looking good. The semi uses 1.6 kilowatt hours a mile, bringing energy costs down to about a third of what diesel engines demand. Over three years, you're looking at a savings of 200 grand on fuel alone. That's serious money that would typically vanish with a diesel engine. And there's more to celebrate. Electric trucks like the Semi have far fewer moving parts than diesel, meaning less maintenance is needed. For the Semi, maintenance costs run you about 10 cents a mile. So driving at 100,000 miles a year and you're spending $50,000 on upkeep over half a decade. That's a huge breakpoint compared to diesel trucks' costly maintenance. So, while the semi might look a bit pricey up front, it's actually a real money saver in the long run. And if you're in it for the long haul, this truck's going to pay for itself and then some. Let's look at how this car performs in real-world conditions. The semi made quite an impression at this year's IAA Transportation Expo in Hanover, showcasing its powerful performance and endurance on the road. No longer just a concept on paper, this electric truck's proving itself with remarkable efficiency and reliability. According to Dan Priestley, head of Tesla's Semi Division, he shared some eye-opening performance metrics that have left onlookers genuinely impressed. Tesla's fleet of semis is proven to be even more efficient than initially projected. Priestley disclosed that these trucks are now reaching an energy efficiency of 1.6 kilowatt hours a mile, exceeding Tesla's initial estimate of 1.7 kilowatt hours a mile. To put this in perspective, this is roughly equivalent to using 100 kilowatt hours to travel 62 miles, which is pretty impressive for a vehicle this size. One of the most noteworthy achievements is Tesla Semi's impressive range. With the ability to cover up to 1,056 miles in a single day, the Semi can match the range of traditional diesel trucks. This positions the Semi as a compelling alternative to Class 8 heavy-duty trucks. Tesla's fleet of semis has collectively traveled 7.5 million miles so far, and one particular truck has gone an impressive 250,000 miles or around 400,000 kilometers in just 18 months. On reliability, Tesla's also proven highly dependable, with an operational uptime of 95%, which is crucial for logistics companies where downtime directly impacts profitability, making the semi a highly attractive option for businesses looking to maximize time on the road. Priestley also highlighted the semi's capability in tackling steep elevations. The semi has easily conquered challenging passes like the Tehan Pass at an elevation of 1,268 meters and the Donner Pass at 2,203 meters. These results show that the semi isn't just a viable replacement, but a groundbreaking advancement in the future of transportation. Additionally, the semi has shown impressive long-range capability in extensive field tests. During DHL trials, the semi managed routes of up to 390 miles on just one charge, even when fully loaded, an outstanding feat for a fully electric heavy-duty truck. These stats put it among the top-tier performers, proving that it meets even surpasses high industry standards for performance and energy savings. The buzz around the semi among big-name companies speaks volumes about its reliability. Pepsi, an early adopter, integrated the semi into their California operations and their drivers are already huge fans, many preferring it over traditional diesel. It's a switch that's more than just a nod to sustainability. It's a driver-approved upgrade in comfort and performance. In fact, industry-wide confidence is growing as companies view the semi 
not just as a theoretical what if, but as a game changer with tangible, quantifiable results. These partners firmly believe the semi will redefine industry standards, proving it can deliver both operational efficiency and long-term financial benefits. What exciting upgrades could be coming to the new Tesla Semi? One of the most thrilling updates for Tesla's fully electric truck, this Semi, has been teased by none other than the CarMaker AI team. The team released one of its latest models, FSD Monitor, running on a bare metal vehicle, Model 3 or Cybertruck. The fast arrival time of this functionality has led to positive early feedback from Cybertruck beta testers that have access and praise for its real-world reliability on this model. After all these Cybertruck owner updates, the Tesla AI team even referred its release as well for FSD with respect to Tesla Semi. That caught the attention of a lot of Tesla enthusiasts, especially given that FSD has yet to be bestowed on the beefy electric truck. So it should come as little surprise that within minutes, the Tesla faithful were asking about future FSD updates of the same system for what else? Their soon-to-be realized wildest dreams and aspirations in a Bentley-esque semi-tractor trailer. For one of those questions, the Tesla team suggests Tesla plans to continually update its driver assistance features as it's done with other updates. Speculation over what impact FSD will have for fleet operators has inspired a significant amount of excitement in the Tesla community with these recent hints from the Tesla team. This careful adherence to the law could reassure delivery operators planning long-haul routes where consistent safe driving is going to be essential. This, in turn, further highlights Tesla's commitment towards developing FSD for the semi. It was made evident by a recent video of one specialized engineering unit of the semi that has an array of sensors embedded on its body. Now, that might seem like an odd way to calibrate such sensors, but it could well be signs of progress developing a true FSD system for the semi on Tesla's behalf. There are some videos sharing this rather unique engineering Tesla Semi online. The enthusiast said that the engineering unit is traveling on public roads, meaning Tesla's already working to polish FSD for the Semi. News of this mystery Semi has gotten a good deal of attention in the Tesla community. Tesla's invested very heavily in AI, so there's little doubt the development timeline for their fully electric FSD system will shorten significantly than many currently expect. Equipping the semi with FSD as a standard would change long-haul trucking forever and give a safer, more affordable electric alternative to any Class 8 vehicle on the road right now. But the first hint about an upcoming rollout has now been given thanks to a tantalizing tease by Tesla's AI team directly, just in time for another boost of excitement around FSD with this truck-centric semi-peripheral release as well. After the Cybertruck update got announced, social media users were quick to ask what semi would get. Within minutes, Tesla responded ambiguously, but wait, there's more, season finale, not series finale, hinting at what may be the last showdown before unveiling the FSD monitor for Tesla Semi. Actually, Tesla's made a billion dollar bet on the future of autonomous driving, spending over a billion dollars by 2023 on R&D into this tech. Tesla's also seen as spreading a similar technological red carpet on the road. For example, semi-truck's innovation of road safety and cost efficiency. The semi boasts a cutting-edge sensor suite with LiDAR, radar, and cams that allow it to see 250 meters in all directions, allowing it to see and avoid obstacles quite far ahead. Now, picture your truck seeing obstacles over two football fields away. That's the level of awareness we're talking about here. Tesla's also pricing FSD more competitively. 15 grand up front's been the standard, but for 2025, Tesla's now dropping that to 10K, an important cut if you're running a smaller delivery specialist. The new pricing tier is meant to help democratize autonomous tech, making it a more valuable investment than simply another luxury option on the long list of big ticket items. Although it may not be immediately apparent, FSD could well prove to have numerous advantages for Tesla Semi. We're not talking just vaporware either. Tesla FSD system has been long worked on for models like the Model 3 and Y, as well as Cybertruck. FSD version 12 launched back in September, and now Semi can go longer in autonomous mode without human intervention, making it a great choice for long hauls. Due to the majority of crashes being caused by humans, that's 94%, FSD will be possible for a huge reduction risk per mile, meaning a safer road. Additionally, the tech could save fleet operators a fortune by cutting costs by as much as 20%. Beyond avoiding unnecessary stops, FSD encourages more efficient routes and enables you to prioritize high-priority tasks, in turn taking away your downtime, all while keeping trucks rolling with optimized start-stop operations. How Tesla developed the charging station to serve the charging needs Tesla is all-in on expanding its supercharger network. 
to cover every possible Tesla semi drivers might want to plug in. By the close of last year, Tesla had put more than 45,000 superchargers across the globe, a whopping quarter within the U.S. market alone, ensuring that semi-drivers are never too far away from a recharge in the typical range so that no driver can be left without power on long hauls. They are also establishing a huge 1,800-mile network in charge of the corridor from Texas to California. Not just any rod, either. It's going to be fitted with powerful 750-kilowatt chargers specifically made to get all electric semis charged quickly. The high-power chargers could deliver a semi-battery charge of about 70% in 30 minutes, giving you time for a quick snack and a cup of coffee. No more range anxiety. No need to worry about it. Their trucks can go coast-to-coast -coast over 4 millions of the United States with this corridor. Certainly, a proponent of fast charging, Tesla's got its mega charger technology to thank. Each semi is said to recharge 400 miles worth of range in 30 minutes, translating to minimal downtime for business, giving freelance drivers the opportunity to get out on the road and rack up serious miles without having to suffer a lengthy period of inactivity while your car is charging. Quick, convenient, and surprisingly easy, Tesla is looking to make charging electric cars as simple a process as taking a quick pit stop. The cost of charging a Tesla semi is also a lot less than diesel. Tesla said a semi would cost seven cents a mile to charge compared to 12 to 15 cents for diesel trucks. Those savings don't just pad the company's bottom line, they also promote a cleaner environment, something that is becoming more valuable to businesses as we continue moving towards a greener future. Charging network Tesla has taken heavy investments into assuring their charging infrastructure is reliable and safe. Superchargers are power-regulated devices to prevent electrical brownouts and other connectors from arrests, which have restraints for charging the battery. This is clearly paying off, with 95% of Tesla drivers enjoying the charging experience, all which equates to fewer road hiccups and better charging confidence along your journey. So, what do you think about autonomous driving technology like FSD, and will that become the standard for long hauls? Would you feel safe sharing the road with a fully autonomous semi? We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this. And if you did, hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Your feedback and time are very much appreciated. Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless you. Bye.